Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. We are in the port city of Porto and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao. Blue, certainly the colour. Uh, that looks a foul. Yeah, referee's given it. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? He could make himself unplayable here on some occasions when star players really mean business. The entertainment value rockets, and we could be in for a treat after such a stunning opening. Oh, that is a bit special. France ahead, one goal to the good. Hendrik. Puts it over to the other flank. Stevens. Chance to cross here. Goalkeeper's ball. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Giroud, there's a long ball. Helps available out wide. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Up to meet it! And that has been clubbed away. It's a loose ball. Not defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. He's looked long this time. Lovely bit of skill there. There are a few waiting for it. It's come loose. Get a throw in. Gorgeous control there. So who's he picking out? Beautifully done. Hendrick. Arta. France scored early, of course. And the score is 1-0. That is terrific skill. Stevens goes for a sweeping cross. Over to the left. Lovely bit of skill. Time to deliver. He's in! It's our tar! And he heaves it forward. challenge yeah well they were exposed and, and vulnerable and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then going for goal France have got away with it this time but I think if they can 
carry on giving away free kicks in positions like that, I think they'll be made to... And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, the post-sport half of football. But still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to them. That gets things going for the second half. France going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Stevens. It's Arta. It's gone a long way up and away. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Konate knocks it away. Arta. Out to the right. Oh, good ball. Ireland are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Hendrick goes looking. Diaby. And here's Giroud. Hernandez. And it's hoisted clear. The defence can get it clear. Mbappe. And here's Giroud, Mbappe goes through the middle. France are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Stevens, Ireland to retain the ball, but are seemingly in no rush to break forward. Ocalocano, still just that single goal and we are nearly done. Hernandez. Diaby. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Shiru. And that is it, the referee has seen it up. France, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins.